Everyone. Stream is starting. Hey, Ron. Glad you could make it. Chicken. Oh, our ghost sphere is back. Old ghost circle. Okay, I killed the ghost. So, we've, uh, it's been three days in game since, uh, our last stream ended. We ended on 64, it's now 67. Uh, I've been doing some resource gathering mostly the past, uh, three days, organizing stuff, actually getting stone, which we kind of needed. Um, uh, the mine got a bit deeper. <laughs> All the way down there. So, uh, that's a thing. Uh, but this area is already destroyed, so I figured, whatever, might as well destroy it more. So, I've been off for a couple days from just making stuff. Content recording and streaming and such, because I've been sick. Just a normal cold, nothing to worry about. Uh, I'm back now. This might be a shorter stream, and... We probably won't see a video coming out today, still, unfortunately. But I'm going to try to see how much of the stream I can do before my voice decides that I'm not doing streaming anymore for today. <laughs> see how long it lasts. Uh, so with all the resource gathering, I shot to get 2,000 concrete blocks. I have overshot that a little bit. Oh, no more. So I have 1,200 concrete blocks now, and another 3,200 concrete mix, so that's good. Uh, that's all in preparation for making our, uh, making our floating fortress. I don't know if I added these between streams or not, but I added two extra for forges here, and I made sure that all of them had a advanced bellows, so they smelted faster. And an anvil so they craft faster. Just set the continue crafting. That's it's doing. Okay, still making steel. Good. I have some gunpowder going. Okay. Going to grab some resources and just put this concrete mix on for now, and then we will head out. Okay. So the objective today is to start building our house. Uh, we have until day 70 to get shit done. Because uh, that'll be our next horde, the 10th horde, which is coming up fairly quickly. And, if we're lucky, we could get the last two vehicle books we need for a motorcycle. Because, as you know, it's been very, very long coming. <laughs> It'd be very nice to get a motorcycle, just for going back and forth, seeing as our new house is going to be... Well, it's not that far away, but like it's enough of a ways that any amount of moving faster would be nice. Uh, meanwhile, though, I'm going to take a short detour from the other stuff that we're doing. We will work on the house soon, but we're going to do something really exciting first. We're going to go treasure hunting. It's like scavenging, except for not. <laughs> uh, we're going to step in the treasure map. And just to make sure that I'm not silly... Okay, good. I... Ugh. Now I'm still not where it needs to be. I still have a shovel. That's good. Well, gold and silver and diamonds and doubloons. It's actually pretty accurate to what we're going to find. Uh, so there's two types of uh, of retrieval quests you can get. One is Oh, I need to fix up this area. 
one of them is the bird supplies quest that you can get from any trader. And for those, it's simply you go and find where the where those supplies have been buried, you pick them up and bring them back. Uh, for the treasure maps, which is what we're going on, uh, it functions the same, but instead of it being a quest that you turn in, it's you continue you keep all the loot that you find, and it, they're usually worth many 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 times more than the very supplies quests. They you will find large amounts of tokens and like gold and silver nuggets and diamond nuggets and so on. Supplies ammunition, large quantities. It's playing. Interesting, but stick to stuff I know for sure are definitely royalty free. Okay. And I lost my train of thought completely. But the point being is that there's some very good um, I hope my AC hasn't been loud this entire time. I just noticed that it's on. So, we're going to the treasure chest and also grabbing this, I guess. And there should be many doubloons, by which I mean tokens, for us to get. Okay, not bad. Armor and assault rifle. Use vehicle books, but we'll get there. Okay, where is it? The hill? On the hill. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunately, these things can be kind of weird when it comes to hills. Anyone particularly? Well, you know what? Since I can see. Oh. Oh no, I put away my ammo! Gosh darn it. And she's out of range. Whatever. Okay. Treasure. Yeah, yeah. Motorcycle, 4x4, four four, helicopter. The helicopter is, like, actually really effective. It's very strange and janky how it works, but it is effective. Well, I do look forward to that, though it'll take a pretty long time to get there. I need to go this way. No, oh, I just restart. Yeah. I destroyed a chrysanthemum. Oh, that up. Bad happens to it. So each of the vehicles has a progressively larger inventory. Which is really, really nice for transporting stuff. It's one of the main reasons why I would really want a motorcycle before we actually move all of our shit over. Because it will take so much longer to do it with the mini bike inventory than it will with the motorcycle. Because I believe the motorcycle has three or four times the, the storage capacity of the mini bike. And the 4x4 has the same amount of storage as a full size chest. So more than my inventory. Very unfortunate this is on a hill. I also hope I don't drop anything on my head. Aha! Oh. Please tell me I have... Please tell me I have lockpicks in here. No! Okay. <laughs> Pickaxe it is. And Ooh. 
Believe it or not, this is actually not the best treasure chest I've seen. Yeah, 5,600 tokens. Another 650 tokens worth of nuggets. Ammo of basically every type. Mods. Yeah, not bad. I have actually seen up to like 25,000 tokens, though. Oh, also, when you open the chest, it spawns zombies. Is that too? Okay, let's go back. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to get something decent out of that, so we'd be able to... Uh, so we'd be able to go to the trader and maybe buy some things, but... Eh. I've started to notice a pretty big bottle cap with only having five... new collectors. It'd be really nice to have more than five. Because they don't actually create water that quickly, and if you need glue for anything... It takes one jar of water every single piece of glue you need. So, be pretty rough in that sense. This. Not getting distracted. I'm working. Oh. Truck stop. Okay. This might actually be a decent spot to see if I can get some books. Plus, I see newspaper containers over here. All right, well, this not that's not nothing. Give me money. Keep an eye on them. Very happy there's no alarms on that, because I was like half expecting alarms to go off everywhere. <laughs> oh, we're alive. Okay, can we get some... Get a book from this one. Book, 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 book? No. Actually, take the paper. Are there any vehicles over here? Gotta be. Not a single vehicle, Luke. Aw. Hello. Kind of rough that I don't have anything to like dealt with because my got arrows. I don't really see more vehicles in there, so I'm just gonna ignore this place because that's my primary concern is building and vehicles. Okay. Truck. Book. Book. Broken. Book. Oh, there's a truck over there. Book? No book. Oh, not the book I need, at least. Sigh. <laughs> Concrete, I need that. Where does this mysterious ladder go? 
I don't want to do that. That looks bad. I'm just hoping that we will just stump, just get lucky and stumble upon a couple of books. We only need two. Not like we have to find many. Armor book. Fine. Okay. Something interesting here. Build the truck stop over there. We need just like a tiny bit of luck and nothing else. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of luck. And that will be enough for us. Oh, this one's still. This is a very bad idea. Because it spawns all of them. That actually wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Is there more? Must be more. Okay. That's part of it. Okay, but this area has four vehicles. Thing rifle. Thing. Nope. Oh, actually, crossbow bolts. I mean, that's better than nothing. Nope. No. Yep. Yep. Okay. Last vehicle. You just have like two books. That'd be great. Nope. I missed. I missed. I see another vehicle here. And there's no vehicles inside. Oh! There's a airdrop. Bye. <gasps> vehicle book! Okay, we need one frickin' book now. One book. That's all we need. A single vehicle would be enough. Put some stuff away. Don't need on us immediately. I have way more than enough lead. I don't need a bunch. Okay. One more frickin' book. One more book. That's all we need. Hanging out over here in, like, this section we don't usually go to, because I feel like it's the only place where we have even a chance of finding a book. Oh, God. The reason why it spawns a ton of zombies when I do this, and you can't see it because my pickaxe is too good, but when you break through the first level of the police car, it says there's a bunch of sirens that start and it becomes jammed, and then if you break it through another level again, then it becomes untouched. 
but my pickaxe is good enough to break it all the way through that second level to the third immediately. So you don't actually see- oh god. So you don't actually see anything happen. But it does. So let's grab- grab this while we're here. Or is it not to? Book? Um. Oh, right. Think. This one particular pile of rubble here always spawns a snake. Okay. Mailbox, two mailboxes, and a car. Ooh, Magnum Enforcer. Nice. Books we already have. Book, 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 book. No. Oh, actually, I should keep that. I tried. Wait. These usually have lock picks. Nope. Oh, well. Hey, well, let's keep moving. We're gonna run out of places to check, but I mean, we just, we just need one vehicle, just one. Oh, there's another airdrop. Well, I guess we do get an airdrop once every three days, and anytime I spend offline, I don't ever pick up the airdrops offline, or at least I generally don't. So. Because they kind of just get littered around. Bow, wiring, and... There. It's a ball rifle. Batteries? That's... that's important. Yeah, so that was this... oh. That's literally just batteries. <laughs> okay. We take oh, that's just clay. Oh, that's all clay. Okay, I was hoping that some of it was concrete, but whatever. Is a house over? No. Something's angry at me, but I don't care. Aww. Oh well. Okay, what's the next closest place? Well, this is a vehicle. Book, 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 no. Book. Book. I could put. Ah, not even worth keeping. Thing really worth keeping is the wrench. Oh, I didn't grab it yet. Wait, where did the... Oh, there's the shovel. Okay. Well, I can actually put the hunter on anything, because it goes on anything. That's useful. Way... I'm not opening the armor bundles. 
because those are that's going to be four extra things in my mind. Eat Guess I'll drop those in here. And, okay. What about this? Armor, bow, handgun. I can make level one compound crossbow. No, we might actually end up at, we're going to end up at the trader right as he opens, I think. Which would be kind of nice, because I do actually have a bunch of stuff to sell him. Nothing there. Did I just get this? No, I didn't. But I forgot that. Oh yes, that is something I remember forgetting. <laughs> Also, fuck you, spider zombie. Whoa. I don't know if that showed up on the video, but we just freaked out. Actually, I should cast this up. Uh, nah, I won't. I won't repair it yet. Okay. Give no mailbox. Okay. Mailbox, there you are. On. Nope. Also. Concrete. Otherwise, I don't care for anything else. Don't really want to take too much time looting anything if I can avoid it. Just want to see if I can get us that last book. Does this area have... No, this isn't a vehicle. There's the trader. That's not very useful. Wait, the Shock and Messiah shooting range is over here. And that usually has cars out in front of it. It has one. Well, better than nothing. Oh, it's two. Okay. Please. Please. Book, please. I hate you. I hate you, Knuckle Raps. So disappointing. Okay, well, we just need one more. Literally, any vehicle we check could be the one we need. So, we're close. Just need to find that one vehicle. Somehow. Okay. Apparently I've never gone over here, so I'm going to see if there's other houses over here. This is the prison I want to actually check out some point. Wow, there's four cars here and none of them are lootable. Oh, there's a, uh, a pig ranch here. Pretty good loot in these. Book, 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 no. Book? And nothing. Uh. You're not awake, are you? Just standing for some reason. Oh, no, she's not actually standing. She's she's laying down. It just doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's because her actual body's there. Like this one.
I'll take free XP. Make a building. I know what I'm doing. Not you. Not the soldier. A lot of XP here. Egg. Right over there. Awesome. Level 20. Or, try that again. Level 60. <laughs> and two skill points. That's what I was trying to say. I love stealth so much. Get so much XP. Face down. Oh god, I have to break the rest. I don't know if I can do that stealthily. I'm kind of playing with fire with grace right there. I don't need lockpick, so I can't pick the chest either. I have to destroy it. Vitamins. Ace. Things are round, but okay. How do I reach? What's my retreat map? Find a way to get out of here before I cause myself serious problems. Okay, didn't wake her up. If I do this, I can jump out. Angry over here. Oh, I don't care then if it's locked. Ah. Okay. <sighs> Probably a bad idea. Oh, wait. I'm scared of you. As you can't hear that somehow. I'm a, I'm stealthy with my pickaxe. Just watching her. Hey. Oh, she can't hear this. Ooh. Ooh. 10% more damage is mountain lions. This 
This music is actually making me more tense than is probably required for this scenario. <laughs> oh, somehow we did that. Also, I don't remember where my bike is. Oh, I already got these. Did I get this one? I can't remember. Uh, dead. Okay. Something over there. This place is pretty explosive. Really hoping to get that vehicle before it exploded. Fine. There is one over here. Shuttle bus. Ah, fuck. Oh god, you're radioactive. I'm waking everyone up now. Okay. Magnum is great. It really is. But. Automatic weapons are better for this. Okay, I didn't expect that to be such a bloodbath. <laughs> I did take a fair bit of damage, but I have an extra first aid kit, so that helps. And... That was not worth it. Really. Eh, whatever. Oh. Nope, not the right one. Yeah, I really need to stop at the trader, because I have so many books that I don't need. Oh god. That's much easier. I just want to see it anyways, so I don't even need to break the other one. Now. I need. Bad the car is broken. Oh well. Where's the trader again? It just um there might be a vehicle oh this is an old prefab these aren't this isn't even a real these aren't real garage doors they're just like stone slabs painted to look like them Okay, no, I should actually go in there. Oh, what? Wait, so random ones of these are are concrete and the others are wood. Oh, that's weird. Oh, a passing gas crate. That can have books in it. So could this have? <sighs> yeah. 
Hello. Yeah, hopefully. Nope. You see this, though. Oh, that wasn't very much, but whatever. Okay, well, it got us more more attempts, even if it didn't work. Um, there's some more stuff down here that we can look at, but I'm gonna go run over here. Crater for, and this stuff hasn't respawned, has it? It has. I don't know if this can have vehicle books. Doesn't matter because that's very good. Away. So can you? Honey. I should run over and grab the. Actually, wait, no, that's too far. Leave my bike. Is this respawned? Yay! I wonder if all the vehicles here have respawned. Oh. There's ATMs in here that I know I've opened before. This one, obviously not, but the other ones I have. I can grab the old cash and sell it to the trader immediately. Please, I only hit this is my last lock pick. God damn it. I only got two from the vehicle. Okay. Decent amount of ash. This has already been heavily damaged. You put the zombies last time. Hello. I'm not going to fall for what I did last time either. I know you're up here this time. Also, you. Lots of money. Oh my gosh, so much money. Okay. Also, thing as I'm here. Okay, backing up, backing up. Oh wow, that went down easy. Okay, right, rod removers on. I was only on my magnum. So I'll need to magnum whatever I find, whatever zombies there are, and then I can kill them with something else. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? I hold on, is this not the one I came in through? The one is this the one I came in through? What? How is the? I just came through this. Oh. That's really weird. Why is the suppressor on the SMG? It kind of looks like a super... <laughs> I know what that is. Uh, Let's see. Can I demonstrate? I know exactly what that is. Oh. A working vending machine? Okay, so there's a, uh, it's an energy drink can. There's a, uh, energy drink called Mega Crush in this world. That's that color. So literally, it's an, it's an energy drink. It's a monster shoved onto the end of it. Ooh, a Robo Sledge. Look. Bye. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, I don't actually need this. Just made with lead. Me. God, I don't want to... Wait, what? What? Oh, the clear quest and whatever that is. Okay. Well, zombies, spawn. No? Okay. Well, I will take everything, I guess. <laughs> Um, just leave the full auto mod here. Okay. Grab this, and then we'll go over the trader finally. And we'll see if the trader has any books to sell. anything? One thing. Ah, fluff. Um, hmm. Hold on. Let's open that. Firing bow handgun. Okay. I can eat that, and I don't care about the last. Okay. The trader. Dump off some shit. I need to look. Yep, I have knuckle parts. Don't worry. I'll be selling them in a second. Get, get rid of them from my inventory. I don't have to look at them any longer. Don't worry. I know that you, you are as saddened by their existence as I am. I promise I will not torment you with them. There's a bunch of cars here I could probably loot, too. Rabbits have such a horrible set when you kill them. Sorry, when I run them over with my vehicle. Get the rocket launcher parts. Oh, that's a Kriplum mod. I have... I can take that. Nice. I put a lot of fucking mileage on this mini bike. <laughs> you are right. I put open handling when moving or firing. I tend to use this when I'm moving, but I don't want to take care. I don't want to remove any of those mods, and I like these two. Okay, I guess I'm going to hold on to that mod, though. That actually is when I have more mod slots. Uh, I don't need to get anything else. Okay. God, you're such an asshole. Hugh. Trader Hugh, you're an asshole. Well, first of all, that was a lot of books. Also, there's a lot of level 6 armor. But I don't need scrap armor, so it's kind of not useful. Shut up! My god.
here are the parts. I have most of the weapons I want eventually anyways, so... I have lots of brass. And I have... I brought home like 60,000 iron the other day, so I'm good there. Okay! Can I please get some water filters so I can... There we go. Okay, water filters. Aww. I was really hoping that there was a book here. Let's Gunpowder. Lots of grenades. Rocks. Auto turret. Really nice. Uh, nearby? No. Others? Yes. Okay, hey, how many water filters can I get? I'm gonna buy a bunch of them. Build to make some do collectors now. Off. Might seem mature to get into fights with the NPC traders. But. Actually, I don't have any, any excuse. It's probably just immature. <laughs> Book. Books. 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 Does not look like it. Oh, a chest here. Empty chest. And... Pretty good. I left some cloth in there last time. Not... Yep, I. you're right. I did get some knuckles to sell. Don't worry. I will sell them soon. Uh, learn to craft armor piercing 762 rounds. Nice. Oh my gosh, all these cars have respawned. <gasps> we got the book! Yeah! <laughs> we can make a motorcycle now! Oh my gosh, I've wanted this for so long. Uh, okay, yeah. Going directly home now. Fuck everything out. Well, okay, not fuck everything out. Um, yeah. fuck everything else. Going home. Where is home? Okay. Going home, and I'm crafting us motorcycle. I'm never using this thing again. <laughs> Been good to me, mini bike. But I have transcended past you now. I will use you if I die and lose my motorcycle somewhere and have to go get it back. Oh my gosh! Uh... Sweet jump. Uh... Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, no, I, I see. I see exactly where to go. Hold on. Okay. I was a sweet drift. Okay. Mini bike jump. Three, two, one, jump! Wee! <laughs> oh, so anticlimactic. That's right, okay. I'll I'll get the motorcycle and we'll go off some jumps on that soon.
Okay, we're home. Oh yeah, I got a Magnum Enforcer book just randomly while I was, like... I think I looted, like, a mailbox while I was out collecting things off-screen. Don't remember when we got this, but now we have two. That's good, because we have two at the base. That means we can place two more, and we can have all four directions covered. Also, we got a security camera bundle the other day. I don't know what this does, what it is. So, while we have a chance, let's open this. Okay, five speakers, five motion sensors, ten tripwire posts, ten electric wire relays, one wire tool, and three wiring books. I will probably use some of that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's dump some stuff in here. No, all that stuff's going in here anyways. Bunch of shit. Actually, this is a great time. Oh. Uh, I think I kind of understand what it's used for. Um, motion sensors just give power to things when they sense motion. So I think you can, like, open trap door or, like, trap doors. I think you can open, like, garage doors and stuff if, like, the motion sensor sees you coming. Uh, I do not know what the timer relay does. Trigger events based on the time of day. Oh, that turns the lights on at night, basically. Or off, or whatever. That's cool. Uh, the electric wire relay is just wires aren't always long enough. So, there's relays. Um, yeah. Speakers, just make an alarm sound. Switches are what the switch is. And tripwire posts. Um Oh, they're just okay, they're they're just normal trip wires. So if something basically you just have two points where there's a wire suspended between both and if something steps over it's like hits the wire then it triggers whatever the thing is. Yeah, okay, I will take that. Put these over in here. I'm going to sort all my crap out. First, as the epic music sendos. Yeah, get excited because for uh, commercial break. And by commercial break, I mean intermission because I can't run commercials yet. <laughs> okay, we're just going to go on a five minute intermission now. A chance to use the bathroom and get some water and stuff, and I'll be back soon. Okay, and we're back. So, it is time to put these away. No, it is time to make some dew collectors. All right, it's time to make one dew collector for now. And then all of this glue I made the other day probably get used quickly. I need 12 more.
then I will be able to make the other duple. Put this last one on. Then, uh, yeah, motorcycle time. Guys, okay, so these are all the parts we need electrical parts, mechanical headlights. Only one headlight. Mechanical, electrical, oh god. A lot of duct tape, apparently. Okay. Okay, so I need... Uh, 50, oh god, I need 30 duct tape, okay. Oh, this is why we needed the duke collectors. Oh wow, I that used an entire stack of cloth. And it was not enough. Buy more. Wow, that's 300 cloth to get 30 duct tape. Very, very, very expensive. Uh, here's the leather. Okay. And I've been crafting forward steel for this and other things. Okay. Chassis is crafting. Handlebars are next. Got to do collector. That's going to take a second, so I'm going to go put down the Duke Collectors. Oh, this is a bit off, isn't it? Fuck. That was not right. Well, we only gained three Duke Collectors, but... Oh well. We'll get another one. That's really sad, though. Oops. Okay. Bars. What's he doing? Minute two. Some stuff you can break, just naturally, and it gives you the item. Other stuff, you have to specifically pick it up using the uh, radial wheel. Can't do it on that, because it doesn't allow it. Like, there's a radial wheel thing. Actually, I can probably shoot in the front. Nope, I cannot. Oh, it's, there's no lane claim here, that's why. Because this lane claim isn't active. Because we have a land claim over at the board base. Oh. There's no way to activate this again? Okay. Well, whatever. It's done. They're placed. Broke one's broken. Clutch is light. Okay. Motorcycle. Way more important. Two wheels. Let's see if I have enough. Ah, 13 wheels. Yes. I guess I'll just give it 13 wheels, as most motorcycles have. Engine. And a really crappy battery. Because the quality of the battery that you use it does not matter anyway, because it just gets destroyed. Okay. Seconds.
squid. Actually, wait a minute. Can I go without? Yeah, I'll be fine without. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna make glue. Oh wait, I can make glue over here. I don't need it immediately, so I can just let... Oh. That's not even crafting anymore, because it needs... Wood. Just a heads up, I'm going to probably be going for another 45 minutes. And then I'm going to end the stream. I do not want to stress my voice in any way. And seeing as I've been sick, it will stress my voice if I'm not careful. And I want to be able to make videos for y'all. I can't do that if I am out of commission. We'll just make more. Oh, wow. I need to replace the wood and a bunch of these. I also got a bunch of wood between recording sessions. Or streaming sessions, I guess say. Oh, I did not bring enough stone with me. Yep, that's all of it already. <laughs> oh, darn. Um, I think I went and got more stone, because... Going through it really quick. This is out. Okay, last one. Give it a bit more. Okay, what do I have now? Oh, I, wow, I can make 5,000. Okay. Uh, 1200. Uh, 1500? I don't know. How much do. It... Math. Okay, that's good. Okay, so another 5000 crafting and just brought in 2500. And. Motorcycle time in two and a half minutes. So, I think what I'm going to do is I have put away the Magnum. Realistically, I don't need to have four weapons on me. Three is enough. Three is probably more than enough. And it's just not suiting my needs. So I have my crossbow for stealth, my pump shotgun, which I moved the rod remover to, which will be for when I want to be loud, and my SMG for when I want to be quiet. But I basically wasn't using my shotgun because I was using the Magnum instead, and I don't, I don't think the Magnum's better, so... Kinda not useful. <laughs> I wish it was useful because it is really cool, but not not enough for me. Okay, let's go get the bike. Stuff in here. I take fuel out of this. Okay. Well, oh, it's going in my mechanical chest. Sit there and be happy. 
That is more repair kits than I need. So. So bring some more gas. Not need all this. Five, four, three, two, one, motorcycle! <laughs> okay, and we definitely need to die. Actually, I'll, I can place it in here, because it's... This is the big fucking motorcycle. It is awesome. Uh, it's currently white because it doesn't have dye on it. Add some dye. Yeah. That looks really awesome. Oh, it helps if I give it gas. It has a much bigger tank. Also, it has... It has a bigger... Um, storage by far, so that's pretty nice. Close my door. Okay. Oh, look, listen to that. <laughs> it's very hard to get to do a wheelie for any amount of time. Also, it drifts really well. Let's take that jump again. Whoa. Oh, I got air. That's what happened. Woo! Ow. <laughs> God, I've been waiting for this for a while. Oh, look at that drink. Oh, so happy. <laughs> I've already taken out 28% of its durability. <laughs> it does guzzle fuel. But it's very fast and effective. Yeah. A repair kit does 25% of its durability because it is it has so much durability. Let's go lay out the uh, bounds of our new house. I'm gonna bring blocks with me though. I'll uh, bring some cubes just because. They're good for laying stuff out. X. Okay, let's head over to our house area. Now this thing can really get some air. I just to find like a good ramp for it.
I definitely will need a oil shale mine, though. Oh, we're going to get good air here, I think. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Here. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. This is so much nicer than the mini bike. Even if I have eaten up like 800 fuel already. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at our house, or what will be our house. I don't actually know how big to make this. I've been kind of just focused on getting the materials. I haven't actually thought of, like, the design as a whole, really. I mean, what I do know is that we are going to need to dig. Because, ideally, we're going to want to go at least one block down. Ideally, probably two of concrete, so that nothing can get dug under or broken, because that would be disastrous. Because if we lose, like, a chunk of the house, like, the entire house will fall. Okay, well, I guess I will start digging over here. I'm going to mark the edges. Okay. This will be the ed one of the edges of the house. One, two, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen. 15. Okay. Or how big does this look? Not? Wow. <laughs> oh, we're going to need a lot of blocks. I can also do kind of a bit L shaped. I guess that was 15. What about... Four, five, seven, eight, nine, one, Let me make sure this is right. One, two, four, five, seven, eight. Okay. Actually, I can leave this. Counting. Let's have nine in between. I want to make this, like, big enough that I have everything I need, but not so big that it's just too fucking big for me to use. Because, like, I have to build and, like, manage the structure. Um... Five... Eight, nine. Right turn there. Twelve, fifteen, fifteen, and then four, 
8, 10, 12, 14. See what shape this ends up being. Might be too thin on this side. Maybe this needs to go farther. 15, 17, 18. 18. I think means that I need this, this, and this one. Yeah, stop that. Okay, that should be good. I definitely want to make something asymmetric. I want to figure out. How asymmetric eight and fifteen. I can also do different sections in. An idea. One, two, no. Three. This is going to make kind of a weird shape. But it would be interesting. So, so far, this is the weird shape that I've picked out. I need to make sure like, that I actually have an idea of what's going to go where, because otherwise it's going to be kind of pointless. I could do actually do a weird eight, come to think of it. It would make a symmetric design instead of asymmetric, but because like I could do my square here and then another square right over here connecting to it. I do kind of want like a cordoned off area where I can put storage room. I'm just trying to think, like, where... How much room do I really need for a storage room? Hold on a second. Before this becomes an actual problem. I missed her. Oh my gosh, she's standing still and I still missed her. Okay, anyone else? Actually, I probably don't even need to headshot them. I can probably just body shot them as long as I'm stealthed. I'm still doing five and a half times damage. Okay, that should be all the zombies in there, roughly. Get back to it. 
feel like I don't need too much. So I have 12 boxes in my storage room right now. I don't feel like I'm going to. I'm, I'm already not using one of them. And while I could expand, I don't feel like I'm going to use a huge amount more than, let's say, 15. I kind of want to maintain. I kind of want to have a storage room that's big enough for that, but also, like, not too ridiculous. So. If I do. Think. That. I also would kind of like to fit the, the uh, workbenches in here. If I could manage that. They're too wide. Okay, so if I went above each box, or above each workbench, I could put, like, cluster of four, cluster of four, cluster of four, cluster of four. That's 16 boxes, and I'm already only using 11, so that's a fair bit of expansion room. Then, like, these blocks would be like, actual pillar, which I could swap out for boxes if I ever do run out of space. I want to go a little... Because I want to feel like it's being encompassed. Okay, so this would be a storage room here. Which is only going to leave one block, one concrete block between the outside world and the bridge, but that should be fine since we're not actually fighting hordes here. We're just going to deal with random, random wandering hordes and stuff. What does that leave us? One, three, five, seven, nine. I do this here. Seven, and I can make a separate room. Okay. I effectively had. Uh... Oh. Hmm. So if I do this, the workbenches are going to be flush here. But that's not actually going to be sticking out, which might make this look a bit more asymmetric. But I don't know if I would. I can move this over a bit. Aesthetic's sake. Okay. I move this over. I can still have like the walls, which are purely decorative. I like this a bit more, and there's still whatever the hell's in this room. I don't really know what to do with this. I'll be eventually removing all these building blocks. These are just like for show. Guide basically. Okay, so five, six, seven spaces there. I took that out, there's eight. Put that in, seven again. Might look a bit better considering that I'm going to have it coming out on both sides here. It also does mean, however, 
fun enough. But I could do this and have like a divot in the building for just like aesthetics. Same with the corner. Like I could make this pretty like fun and geometric. Okay. It's fun is probably the wrong descriptor considering that like everything's gonna be fairly sleek, but I mean, whatever, it's fun for me. <laughs> okay, three there. Three there means that I need that right there. Then there's box here. That. What is this? On a metric? I put a large ish pillar right here. And like, I don't have to use the full block space. I can use something fairly thin to make this like a thin pillar. But I can use five blocks worth. Actually, I can use nine blocks worth by making a thin pillar, and that will help keep it up. Because, like, I don't want to have any issues with things falling. Have a pillar in the center. Probably help. That's not the center. Something's off. Or six, no, eight. Wait. That would mean that would be there. Oh, this is supposed to be here, isn't it? No, that doesn't make sense. What are you wrong? Three? Something's wrong. Oh. Three? Two, three, four. Okay, that's a problem. Why are these measurements not right? And two. So is it supposed to be there, actually? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's where the center pillar would be. I mean, I could put another one right there, safely. Have something very thin. Because, like, it doesn't matter what shape the cement's in, as long as there is a block of any space in the spot, it will help with the stability. I'm going to do, mo like, the digging and stuff for this off-camera. I mostly just wanted to involve y'all in the design process. Because, you know, fun. Actually, this does kind of give me an idea. If I design this right, I could make an X formation, effectively. Kind of. Like this sec this corner would be cut out. Same with the other corner. Yeah, I already cut that out. So Okay, go. Cool. That's three. Okay, so that is seven. Good. Second, I thought this was going to be odd. Or, sorry, I thought this was going to be even number. Even numbered is always bad. Doesn't matter what voxel game you're playing, even number stuff. I, f I personally find just does not work the way that you want it to. It just does not look right. Something about voxel games just screams odd numbers. And this is just my opinion as a snooty designer. <laughs> so, feel free to feel differently, but that is how I feel, at least. That's only five. I've gone not far enough. To be right there. Oh. Right. Blocks and other such things. 
Oh, I guess I can chop down some trees. Make more blocks. Do I have any wood anywhere? Oh wow, lots of shit. Oh yeah, I was gonna throw some of this shit over uh, to the traders. When... That was that was something I could, do, but not yet. Try fifty. Okay. I'm gonna cut out I'm gonna cut out each of the corners where possible. I would cut a wider section here. I want kind of a divot. I feel like that would be kind of cool. like reinforce the more X style. Okay, so, one, three, five, seven. Okay, yeah, that's right. Build, the, not build, dig this part out. Okay, I actually think this is going to be kind of cool now, because if I put it in, like, it's that kind of, oops, I put it in that kind of X shape, it will naturally have four room. Nice. Corner here. Got that. Just need to figure out how to fix this. This is gonna not like that because the inner walls and the outer walls aren't necessarily gonna be in the same spot. It's starting to look a bit messy over here. <laughs> need to need to kind of figure out where I'm going because otherwise this is just going to turn into a blob of wood. Okay. I'm going to try to fill in some stuff here so we can kind of get more of an idea where things are. Fill in design fully, which also means that I need blocks. Probably best I didn't dig down for some of this stuff. Okay, now I see where the problem is. This is out too far. So some of this isn't even supposed to be here. Yeah, I think it's actually supposed to be up there. That would kind of explain some stuff going wrong.
Take that out. Ugh. Easier to see thing. Yeah, so the divot there, which means on all sides. Out there. These are still here. Okay, it's starting to look right. Okay, so there should be... It's... Okay. Well, okay. I guess I'll deal with this first. Actually. This is what the shotgun excels at. Wow, that was... Got two dropped loot bags from that. Where was I? Oh yes, the spacing's wrong here. There's three spaces there, which is right. But there's only two there. Not right. And it's wrong here, too. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh god, what did I do? Uh oh. Oh. Is it supposed to be like this? That only leaves five then. Which is actually what I did over here. Oh, okay. I was counting it wrong. That's what's going on. This corner should be more like that. Corner should be more like that. That gives five blocks here. Yep. Okay. Right. Yep. Five. 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 Putting this on the middle block to count. Five. Okay, five. 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 Right? Oh, don't know if I did this corner. Okay, so I think this is actually the right shape now. I'm going to take these out just because I want to look more like it's going to look and less like I'm going to make it look. Uh, actually, this also does mean that I can take out the very corner as well to make this even more... See? I don't know. Angular? I think angular is the right word. Okay. Let's see. What will look like when are up higher? Okay. So, kind of It's a four-leaf clover. That's what it is. This is a clover. And I intend to like even out all like the rougher edges by using like slanted blocks and stuff. So there will technically be more blocks involved in this and more security, but it's going to look closer to this. Also, I still intend to make this floating. Which will take a little bit of time, but such is life.
Oh, I should have taken this down. Okay. So, we're coming up on the two-hour mark, so we're going to end the stream pretty soon. But before we do that, I am going to take the areas that I the walls that I've figured out here. I'm going to be digging down another level past this, so that it's all down two blocks. Then I'm going to be putting two layers of concrete in, and then we'll be working on actually putting the found like I'll be put the foundation in after I've dug it out, and that's probably where we'll start the next stream. Or at least I will. St I will start to work on that, and we will see how much shit I can get done before the horde, because we only have another sixty minutes in game to the horde, which actually means I should probably drop some stuff off here. Grab some random crap. Home with me. I want to leave a bunch of shit here. It'll just be easier that way. Okay. I think... I just want to bring all the, bro the raw resources back. Especially stuff I know I'm going to stack anyways. I'll leave all the random tools here for later. Okay. So, off stream, I will see if I can work on this. I might not be able to because of the horde, but I will go prep for the for the horde back at the other base soon. And I will we will start off the next stream on Tuesday at the horde base ready to start the horde. I also have to go and like repair the uh, repair the horde base, place new spikes, craft new spikes, and I guess we can place our new turrets next time. Cool. But yeah. Okay, thank you everyone who's come today. Everyone who's here and has been here, I really appreciate it. If you like the stream, please follow it. Uh, I don't have much coming out on YouTube this week unfortunately because of being sick and i don't really have much of a backlog so i don't really have stuff i can just release <laughs> i did for monday but unfortunately that's not really going to help for today and tomorrow uh tomorrow i'll probably be put just putting out this stream i do want to start editing the hordes and putting those up on youtube just because those are the most interesting parts and if any of you have any cool like horde or the Horde. If you have any cool, like, Seven Days to Die moments that you think would be really fun to put up, like, moments that you think were really awesome, just, you can talk to me on Discord, or you can mention the stream chat, and I will look into adding those clips to the YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you all for watching so much, and have a great night.